back. Following on from last week, uh, obviously the garage revamp is basically done. Um, I need to clear obviously some parts, but that was quite good to actually, well, have some space. Um, remind you of what it looks like now. I've literally just had to drag two bikes out. So I'm really pleased with how everything's come out. Right, on the bench today is a swing arm. I've done a little bit, it's starting to come up, but so I've still got the rest to do. Is the actual uh, bearings, I need to replace them. They're not in good condition. I also need to look at uh, monoshot linkage. Well, to give you an idea, let me just pop that sleeve out. As you can see the state of the sleeve, if you can see in there, the needles are completely rusted. In fact, when I got the sleeve out the first time, as you can see, most of them fell out, so I need to get those out. which could be could be fun because they've been in there for some time uh, again as I said previously Wiimoto is quite close to me uh, I use them quite a lot and they do that's the kit for the swing arm There's two brand new swing arm bearings. The sleeves I'll clean up, regrease. But that's basically what you get in the swing arm kit. Obviously, every swing arm kit is different, different bearings, etc. And also, uh, they've now do a monoshot linkage bearing kit with all the sleeves uh, it's, it's a new one to them so I was first to jump on the bandwagon and actually get one all right I've actually I've sorry, I actually borrowed this kit from a friend of mine it's an actual puller kit I think this is probably one of these things later on I need to invest in, but uh, they are quite expensive, but looks like a good kit. So that's what I'm going to be using today to actually pull these bearings out. So I've actually already put it's all different size pullers. So I've actually put one in there already, that's a 30mm. That's in there nice and tight. All right, basically the same as I did with the piston puller kit. It's a slide hammer, as you can see. comes so that's one done uh, 
was just that one. Right, and just release. This is quite a new experience for me as I've never actually done these before. And there we go, just pops out. Alright, onto the, the other side. Exactly the same again. Alright, dies in. That's tight. Back on the puller. Obviously, mind your hands. And you actually slide the hammer back. That's why I'm actually using it this way and doing that because I actually caught my hand in it. All right, it's just starting to come now. So I need to clean up inside there. As you can see the lip just inside, that's as far as the bearing will go. Same on the other side. Oh, I need to give these a clean out. All right, goose the bearing up. Unfortunately, I don't have any threaded bar, which is probably the easiest way. I'm going to try it actually with a spindle. Right, here we go.
seems to be working. I've actually put two more spaces on this end. I've actually only got that much to do. So, again, this is a new one for me. So, Right, so that's one side in. Now the other side. Obviously the first thing, then we put the spindle back in. Because if you don't put the spindle in, you'll never get it back together. You'll never get it out to get back in again. Alright, so I'm going to pop this next one in. Exactly as we've done on the other side. That one ain't even easier, which was really good. Alright, so what's left to do is get these sleeves a clean up, regrease. Just getting this still in. So that's the second one in. So I just wipe off any excess. But that was easier than I thought. That was helpful. That was just a short one today. Um, as I said, I've, I've actually never done a swing arm bearings, so that was, I say, a bit of a learning curve for me. I've never used that slide hammer tool in that respect. I've used it on pistons, but obviously that's a smaller, smaller tool. So uh, it's great to see how that works. And they did go in. Well, they did come out better than I expected. Um, I'm sure I'm going to come up against stubborn ones, especially when I get to the. My shot linkage, which I'll attempt in the next video.
but um, no, overall pleased, they went back in fine. As I say, I didn't have any threaded bar. I've seen people use a piece of threaded bar with big washers on the end and just keep spannering it in, but it seemed to work with a, well, basically it was a rear wheel spindle with some spaces on it, so that seemed to work okay. But uh, any comments in the comments box below, subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of every video. I appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. I do answer, well, I, do, I do answer every single one basically. Um, I've had some great comments that are coming out, some great tips and advice. Um, as I say, I do reply. I do appreciate your criticism and, and your positive feedback, which is great. So join me again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.